founded Materin with my co-founders, Valerie Malter and Stuart Kay, we actually had long conversations about why we would be willing to take the professional and personal risk of going out on our own and starting a new entrepreneurial firm at all. One of the things that we said is, look, the world already has thousands of asset management firms uh, and hedge funds. The world does not need just another fund. Um, but what would be really special to us as entrepreneurs is if we're able to build something that is different, that reflects our values, that has purpose. Uh, so we spent a lot of time talking about what those values were. And uh, when we founded the firm, we hoped that we would be able to uh, project them through our practices inside of the company. Uh, so for example, uh, we at Materin today offer what we believe are very fair fees for our clients. We never use soft dollars when we trade. We offer a great deal of transparency about how we're managing our clients' assets. And we're very focused on effective communications that we believe will help us to have closer and stronger relationships with our clients, which will um, give them better results at the end of the day. Another thing that we talked about strategically when we started the firm was uh, we had all come from very large asset management companies um, and enjoyed successful careers there. But one of the things that we noticed is that when you're in a very large firm, all of the different functions that affect the clients at the end of the day are siloed. They're managed by silos and sometimes even factions inside of the big firms. And so when that happens, it, uh, it negatively affects the outcomes for the clients. So our vision was if we can focus instead on a boutique structure, that then we can get control of the value chain that affects our clients from soup to nuts, and that this holistic approach to relationship management would again yield better results for our clients at the end of the day.